Hey everybody, so this is the Artifone Orba, and it took me a moment to figure out, but it's nothing too crazy, and I'd like to just show you some basics here. So, I have it set to the drum setting, so we can get back there if we were somewhere else by hitting this A key. You can think of it somewhat as like a shift key. So then you select your instrument, so if I wanted bass, I'd hit two there, but I want drums. And the first thing we're going to want to do is we're going to want to lay down just a little bit of a rhythm. So I'm going to use that A key again. And then we're going to hit this record key. You hear the metronome kick in. Alright, so I screwed up a little bit, but you know what? Doesn't matter. I'm going to stop recording, as you saw by hitting the A and the recording, the number 6 here. So then it went from red on 6 to green on 5. 5 is play. So now it's not recording. I can mess around however I want, find various drum sounds before laying them down. So what I like to do is I like to get the bass, I like to get the kick going, then I'll go back and I'll redo with a hi-hat, which, uh, or a cymbal, sorry, with, in this case it'll be number seven. Not the greatest playing, but still getting used to it. Okay, so I have my shitty drum part. I did awful as far as timing goes. I need to go back to my rudiments and practice my metronome. But let's say that this is flawless. We're moving on. I want to do a bass part. So we're already recording, as indicated by the red here. All we got to do is change instruments. So we'll change instruments over to bass. We do that again by pressing the A, the shift, so to speak, and hitting the bass. We want to play bass. Now this tells you where in the pattern you are, so now it's just getting started again. I'm going to play a little melody. Now we're back to one, because all the lights filled up, it works clockwise. And I don't need to continue playing. It has what I played stored, so that you can loop, you can add on to it, you can erase certain bits. Now, I know that's not the greatest playing, but for explanation's sake, let's just keep chugging through, right? So we want to add some chords. We're still in record mode, as indicated by the flashing red on number six here for record. Here, it's getting close. Number six, record. Now, I'm going to change instruments again. So, if you recall, that is A. And I'm going to go chord, which is three. Nice little three-part thing going here now. You guys are starting to kind of get the hang of it, I would assume. So let's put in a lead part. We're going to switch instruments. A, four, which just happens to be lead. That's my crappy little melody, but to ensure we don't screw anything up, let's get recording mode off. I just did that by hitting this A button, and then this little six, 
the record to make it stop recording. But again, if you recall, the five for play is illuminated because now we're not having any effect on the multi-tracking that's going on. We're just listening back to it. And yeah, this is uh, something that could have been much, much more refined in its composition. I could have done something much better, something much more complicated. It's really up to the user, the musician, to see how far they can stretch their creativity, their imagination, and uh, do so while keeping it in time. So I am going to hit the books and the metronome, and I'll get back to you guys in a bit. Take care.